Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and I welcome you all to this channel. Have this ever happened with you when you try to run a video and the player shows that the video can't be played, especially in case of Windows Media Player? What you will do in such case, maybe then you will think of installing other media player, for example VLC. But what if I say you can run the same media file with Windows default player. So in this video, we're going to see that how we can enable it, how we can, you know, download multiple codecs such that our original media player is capable enough to run the all video files. So without ado, let's get started. So here I have already opened this website which is codecguide.com I will also put the link of this website directly in the description of this video so that you can directly reach to this page Now what you require to do is just simply click on either of these server So maybe I will going to click here on the first one And now you know I will download this codec And now here you can see the codec got successfully downloaded now we will click on open now the prompt will appear and then you need to choose yes now here in case of installation mode we want to choose advanced now uh, here you can define your favorite player so i want to install codec with windows media player so i will be selecting windows media player okay so i am assuming that you don't have any other media player you know E even you can enable or install more codecs with VLC but here in this case I want to go with Windows Media Player here you know you can see uh, I am also enabling the file association with Windows Media Player only and here again uh, preferred audio player I'm selecting uh, Windows Media Player back again now uh, we can also choose this option which is install only 64 bit compact now let's click next next and here what i will do uh, and here you can see the type of codex that is going to get installed in your system now again we will click on next next and again let me just go through next and here also we just need to press next so here you know you can define the decoder mm, but but let's go with the default one okay and again and here we go the file types that now our media player will support so there may be a high possibility the file that you want to run is among these formats so now let's click next okay and now uh, here you can also define the audio decoder let's keep it as it is so let's say you are using you know 5.1 channel uh, home theater then you may choose any other option but uh, leave it as it is now again click on next and likewise click on install okay now here we can see we have successfully installed this k-light codec pack now let's click on finish now we can see we have successfully installed the latest codec pack to our system so what does this codec pack do it enables or it power up our media player now our default media player is capable of running almost any type of media format so that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content. And I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.